Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to use how to create interactive demolition with uh, refractive objects like glass or window. And there is a special rule you should know about such uh, simulations. And first, I will create simple interactive demolition without any refractive object, just to show you the difference. So here's my scene. I will define all this bottom geometry as static objects. Uh, this uh, flat box I want to demolish. I will define it in slipping object list here, and I will this I will use this rock to smash it to this uh, table to break it. I will add it in dynamic list. Uh, I can actually start simulation right now, and this uh, rock will just fall down. Uh, something like this. Okay, my interactive demolition is on. And bake. Okay, <laughs> looks like our slipping object is porous rock, and my geosphere is also porous rock. I will set here heavy metal, so uh, now it won't be demolished during simulation. Let's start again. Okay, now demolish the table. Uh, also, I want to create some animation for this rock, so it will have some impulse at the beginning. Let's see, I will put it here. At frame 10, it will be here. So, here's animation. And so, I will start animation at simulation at frame 8. So, Rayfire will continue this animation of this object okay now let's create another animation okay stop so here's this animation of demolition and uh, as you see, all this uh, this table is already pre-fractured, and each fragment has animation baked into the keys. And uh, if I will render it right now, I will see all these fragments. If I will render it before demolition happened, I won't see any fragments since they stay perfectly fit to each other. But if I will, let's say, delete it. If I will assign this refractive uh, material to this table, so now you can see through. Okay, now you can see all these teapots under the table. And again, I will create another demolition. So now you can see all this fragmented and demolished table on renders so you can see all these cracks but if I will set a time slider frame at frame before demolition happened and I will render it as you can see even though the table is still solid you can see all these cracks and this is why you should start use uh, glass with glass material special uh, material in case you want to fragment some kind of windows or caps or bottles so I will delete the simulation and now I have this glass material for my this table box and uh, let's create another physical uh, interactive demolition it okay now e you can see that there is a original uh, table box here it's it's uh, the visibility is zero right now and uh, let's take a look at the fragments visibility its visibility right right now is one and if I will render right now I will see all the fragments 
and I won't see this original geometry but if I will set time slider to some frame before the motion happened if I will check visibility right now as you can see it's 1 and the visibility of fragment is 0 which means if I will render right now I will see solid box all this table and after demolition like this frame it's solid still and next frame it's already fractured so uh, the only thing you should you should you have to do is just uh, set here material glass for object you want to demolish uh, also you can use any other material but you should know that uh, before do this you can you should go to this material preset here you can see this gr glass material it has its own density friction bounciness and uh, this drug demolition checkbox zone which means that this material can be demolished and also it has this transparent material uh, checkbox also on as you can see all other materials doesn't have it on it's on only for glass and for ice so if your material has this checkbox on you can set any material here even concrete or porous rock and uh, if uh, you will set here porous rock to transparent material and create interactive demolition it will work in the same way like glass so as you can see it still keep this original uh, solid box to show it before demolition happened but this is just for some kind of advanced simulation and but by default you can simply set this mat uh, set uh, material to glass here inside a sleeping object or dynamic impact object here and it will be enough to get uh, such simulation uh, now I want to show you how you can cache all the stuff and use some uh, other options to make it even better the simulation so okay let's create refire cache I'll add all the objects here including this ground, fragments and rock and frame will be 80 now let's record it. Let's see the loss. Okay, now it's finished. You can move it. So here you can see this is just one refire cache geometry, and everything is cached. This is just one big mesh. So if we will assign here edit poly you see that I can select all these objects so the reason why you should cache such simulations is because uh, refire cache can recognize if object is visible or is invisible and uh, display only uh, only visible geometry when it was recorded so like here you can see this crosses which means that there is should be that will, there will be fragment but it's invisible right now and uh, as you can see material is also is refractive so let's say uh, let's me create some teapot here so since when I recorded the simulation I have this top uh, table box uh, visible uh, I see it now on render and uh, when demolition happen you can see that uh, now I see only the fragments and there here is this cross another one cross which means it represents this original flat box which we saw before demolition happened 
So uh, if you catch such animation like here with some kind of glass object, you don't need to mess up with all this geometry, which is this invisible and this is visible and wait until demolition happen. You have just one mesh and everything is ready to use it in your production. Like here you can see solid. You can uh, turn off these draw markers in case you don't like them. Here's also hide faces checkbox which allows you to hide all the invisible faces. So here's a solid geometry and next frame it's pre-fragmented. Uh, now I want to show you another way of using Rayfire Cache for creating interactive demolition of uh, glass-like object. Uh, actually, you don't even need to uh, use interactive demolition. You can pre-fragment your geometry which you want to be uh, demolished later and use pre-fragmented uh, geometry during simulation. So uh, I will uh, now I want to pre-fragment this table, top uh, box of this table. I will put it inside this impact list and I uh, will fragment it to Werner fragments okay now I will send these fragments to sleeping list and add this rock back to dynamic list okay I will turn on demolish geometry since I don't want anything to be demolished during simulation because my table is already, already pre-fragmented I will use that slipping feature instead with some value like 10, maybe 8. And uh, now I can start simulation, maybe 100, bake. Okay, as you can see, some part of this table were demolished and other fragments stay on their position. Okay. I think I can stop simulation. Okay, now I can cache all the simulation. Let's create a refire cache. And I will add the geosphere and all the fragments. And let's record this animation okay uh, record is complete and now I can select all the fragments and juice view and hide them okay so now this just uh, here also hide okay so now this uh, rock and top of the table is a fire cache object just one object and again I can see fragments after demolition and before demolition so now to prevent these cracks from showing up before demolition I can assign uh, this fire cracks modifier it works uh, mostly with only with Warner fragments and what it do it does operation opposite of fragmentation it actually uh, connects all the all the fragments together if they are st stay close to each other so let's say if I will assign edit poly just to show you go to faces as you can see you have all, all, all inner faces selected uh, and let's say if uh, this refi cracks find that this element and this element have a shared face like uh, these faces have the same area and the same size it deletes it and uh, weld these elements together and this uh, modifier do this for all the elements 
So after all, you end up with just simple, just solid geometry. Uh, so if I will start playback this animation, you can see that after impact, or if I cracks losing uh, all these elements start losing uh, their neighbors. So Rayfire Cracks doesn't recognize the shared faces anymore and it doesn't delete them. So this is how it looks in animation. Uh, right now it removes all the interfaces so you have one solid object and then after uh, this fragment start animate cra Rayfire Cracks modifier loses all this, uh, all this connection and start showing all the fragments. And again, so on your renders you will see solid uh, geometry without any cracks and after demolition you will see all the cracks. Also you can see that in this area it's still uh, recognize some faces shared so there are no any cracks still here and what's cool you can turn it off you can go to this uh, cache elements level select some elements like this and this and uh, create new group and say it action hold in which means that they won't be animated anyhow so you can see that all this fragment start animation and this selected elements does not I can select these elements and click add here so now they are part of this group and they are not animated as well and since they are not animated now, I can go to Refire Cracks, turn it on, and after demolition, you will see that this area uh, is not doesn't doesn't have any cracks since these elements were not animated. So you can go back to the elements here, select some elements here, like this and this, and add these elements to this group which is uh, holding, has holding action which means that it keeps all the elements uh, it, it, uh, at their uh, initial state, at their initial position and does not play back their cache so if I will turn on Ray Firecracks again you'll see that I have demolition of my table and only the area which I want to be demolished is affected and all other area doesn't have even doesn't even have any cracks on it So very uh, nice result since you can you can demolish some area, another area will have some cracks, even though it won't be demolished, and other area will not be c affected by cracks or demolition anyhow. So uh, hope this will help you. Uh, thank you for watching.